And I don't like that. I really look like somebody mama. I mean, I am somebody mama, but I look like somebody mama. Hi, you guys. If I look like I'm going through it, that's because I am. Y'all. It is. What time is it? 3:41. I just got out of the bed an hour ago, and that is not like me at all, y'all. I don't be in the bed past nine o'clock, and nine o'clock is late. So for me to be in bed all day like this, Jesus, I just don't feel good. Today is the first day of Periana, Periana, the menstrual. Today the first day of menstrual. It's kicking my tail, literally. And I just want to lay in bed all day and not do a thing. I have things that I could be doing. You see like the laundry in the back? Yeah. But I just don't feel like doing nothing. I'm just so like, my menstruals has always been bad. <sighs> like just from when I was a little. What are you doing? No wonder you over here quiet. She over here. Y'all see this? She over here eating her Halloween candy, but she biting it through the wrapper. Girl, um, it's just always been really bad for me. Like, my legs hurt. You know that feeling you get in your legs when your legs like fall asleep or you really, really tired and you could just feel it all in your legs? That's how I feel times 10. I'm just tired. Like, I feel like all of the energy in my body has drained out of my body and left and went somewhere else. It went to these kids. Because if you think these twins been giving me a break, heck no. She's laying on the floor trying to eat the candy through the package. Why are you doing that? Can, can, I, can you give it to mommy, please? Give it to mommy. Thank you. Oh, as y'all can see her hair look a mess. I gotta do her hair, but it won't be getting done today, honey. Today is Saturday, so yeah. Eat the piece that I already unwrapped for you. Why you keep trying to eat pieces that's in a wrapper? Huh? I have somewhere to go at 4.30. Just a quick little appointment right quick. Uh, I'm sorry if I made you yawn. After that, you guys, I really don't know what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna try to get something for y'all. Some type of footage or something about what I'm doing. But I just don't know. I don't know because unless something change on how I feel, I'm just so tired. And this video is supposed to be going up tomorrow. So, yeah. You guys. I'm back from my appointment. Y'all, I have nothing else to give today. Tomorrow, my attempt is to wake up early and go to the grocery store. The grocery store open at 6. Go to the gym and do a couple of things tomorrow morning. But I ain't got no more in me, y'all. I can't give y'all nothing else. I really, it feels so bad that I almost wanted to go to the urgent care or the emergency room to see what was going on. Because this feel like the worst of them all. So I'm about to take me a shower and I'll be back up here tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. It's Sunday, the next day, and I'm on my way to the gym and to go to the grocery store. Oh, look at my baby right there. I just seen the car that I want. <laughs> Speaking of cars, I'm sure y'all notice I'm not in my car. My car is getting worked on for my dad. So they let me drive pretty much an extra car that they have. Um, Thursday of last week, I was taking the twins to daycare and all of a sudden my battery light came on while I was driving. So then when I stopped and I turned the car back on, it was driving, but it kind of sounded like, like a motorcycle sound. So then I took it to Advanced Auto so they could see like if they could test it to see what's going on. But as soon as he opened the lid, he was saying that like something was burning. So it wasn't to the point where you could see the smoke outside of the car, but you couldn't see it until you opened the hood and you could see smoke letting off. So I drove it to my parents' house and it's been there ever since. So I wanted to see and, you know to my I wanted my dad to see you know what was wrong with it so it ended up being an alternator so I had to get a new alter, alternator and um he's 
since we're fixing that. So he already changed the alternator. He just said that he's been kind of having some problems putting the belt back on. Not that he can't do it. It's just that for some reason, the belt in my car, it goes around a lot of things. So yeah. So that's what's up with my car right now. But he said he should be finished today. Um, I will say, I can't even be mad at my alternator needing to be changed because I, you know, my car is 11 years old. This is the first time it's been changed. And um, when I looked online, I saw that it said that an alternator usually is changed like every 10 years or every 150,000 miles. And my car has like 160,000, so. My baby do good, my baby do good. But I was telling my dad, I said, Daddy, I'm getting a new car next year, so don't even worry about it. No need to worry about how to work on my car. But baby, please just let me make it through this last nine months, honey. Don't say, you know how stuff start tripping. When well, you about to get something new, don't start tripping now. Keep that same energy. I feel better today, you guys. I'm still very much like my energy is drained and I'm cramping, but I don't feel as bad as I was feeling last night. I will be honest with y'all, okay? Don't judge me. Because <laughs> I know some people might, you shouldn't take other people medicine. Listen, when my son got his teeth pulled, they gave him some 800 milligram ibuprofen, which is pretty much Motrin. So it's just been sitting in there because he didn't use all of it. I took that, y'all. <laughs> I started feeling better almost immediately because the way that I was feeling, uh-uh. I don't care about you going around me. Baby. And I'm gonna look at you. Oh she, oh, she got a red hat on too. <laughs> and a little low ponytail. Maybe she just in a rush. Not being mean even. She just in a rush. Um, I'm only doing cardio today and I'm not gonna bring y'all inside because I'm only doing cardio today. I know y'all don't wanna see my thick legs on the spare master. Maybe y'all do, but I don't want y'all to see it today. <laughs> yeah, so we gone. Uh -huh. Stop, we good. Stop, chill. We on. Yeah. Scale, huh. let's go. Let's go. Domingo, huh. let's go. Domingo. Take, huh. let's go. Huh. Set, huh. let's roll. Straighten it, straighten it, straighten it. Yeah, straighten it, straighten it, straighten it. Yeah, don't nothing get straightened but straighten it. Hey. Don't nothing get straightened but straighten it. Don't nothing get straightened but straighten it. Straight. You don't get shit straight, you don't straighten it. Yeah. In this game, sit back, be patient. Yeah. Niggas act like the game went bacon. Uh -huh. Niggas act like something been taken. Took what? Ain't nothing but a little bit of straightening. Okay. Been kicking shit, popping out daily. Good. On the island, it's a movie I'm making. Hey. I'm counting the narrows with Robert De Niro. He telling them that you're amazing. Put hey. that shit on. Shit on. Nigga, get shit on. Get on. I pop two whips and I put my bitch on. She put this wrist on. She had to reset it with Richard Mill Pro. What up, Dow? I just got out the grocery store. Y'all, food. <laughs> I know how to say this too many times. Food getting too high, okay? The salmon. The salmon went up four whole dollars. Four. But those things were $14. What the hell? <laughs> that is $28 for some salmon. And the calories went up on the pane um pasta it used to be like 520 calories now it's saying 660 i think it said or 620 something like that so y'all telling me all this time y'all been lying about the calories so now y'all probably put me over on my calorie days you know what so i'm back home i cleaned the kitchen for the most part it's just like miscellaneous stuff that can't get put up right now. Like for example, Kehlani hair thing. And then these dishes is gonna go on a dishwasher once this cycle finish. Cause y'all know I don't wash no dishes by hand. These is over here soaking. This me and my son's Lego that we're putting together. We do like a little bit a night cause it's very tedious. Like how many pieces is in this? It don't even say, but well, maybe it ripped off. I don't know, but um, yeah. So I got that right here because we, we do it at the table and I don't want to take it upstairs and then something the twins get to it, something, whatever, who knows. Um, But I cleaned the table off, cleaned the twins' high chairs off. This area is clean. A little, it need to be like mop right there because y'all see footprints. Well, I need to do this couch, y'all. This couch. Maybe it'll look better once I actually decorate this house because as y'all see, it's empty in here. Like, 
I ain't did no decorating, y'all, because it's just, I don't know, I overthink it too much in my mind. So I really don't know what I want to do, but I definitely want to put something right here. I was thinking about putting, you know, like an entryway table or something like that. I don't know, like something need to be right here. I don't know, but it's like everything that I want to do, then immediately I have to think, okay, is this kid friendly? Because I have kids, you know, so yeah. These chairs stay dirty. Like, I wipe them, I, I spray them down and wipe them off with Lysol so they don't look bad now, but the kids just don't know how to take care of no chairs, honey. That's why we don't even allow them to sit in these chairs because the little bit of times that they do is something has always to get spit. You see this? Yeah, kids. Kids. Anyway, so it's just like miscellaneous stuff that I need to go through. Like I need to, these two trays right here are for my kids for them to put their school stuff. So I need to go through that. It's like they're graded papers. So yeah. And then this over here is just not, it's just not giving. My son, look, okay. My son, I told my son, I said, I want you to organize this whatever way you feel is like nice in your head. So this is how he did it. So I would have did it a little bit differently but guess what this is how he saw it in his head so look i don't just messed up what he did but <laughs> anyway my neighbor you guys my neighbor she um goes to some type of like amazon things on the weekend to where like amazon stuff be really really cheap so she brings me these boxes of wet ones because she brought it to me one time she asked me that i want to use it well not use it she asked me if i wanted some and i never used wet ones before but then when she gave it to me, I was like, oh, these come in handy. Like, I took one out, but it's two boxes in each, and they come with four. They come with, like, four containers. Well, four packages of the wet ones. So that's perfect for kids because, you know, kids' hands be dirty, and I also use it to get stuff off of the walls. So those are two boxes right there. Then, y'all, look. <laughs> Then look at how many I have right here. One, two, three, four, five. So she gave me all of this for $10. So I felt like that was definitely a good deal. And um, as y'all can see, these pumpkins are right here that need to go in the trash. I never put them outside. So yeah, this room is just like a, honestly, I was kind of against making this into a playroom, but I'm like, why not? Like right now, it's like, just why not make it into a playroom? Because I don't, y'all you know, well, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know, the twins toys used to be over here in the corner, but I got tired of looking at it. So I took everything in that room. Hold on, y'all. I took everything into that room and we don't use that room for anything because we really don't have no company, y'all. That room is meant to be a formal dining room. I, honestly, I always thought like formal dining rooms were a waste of space, unless you just had that space to waste. It's a waste of space because you're not really using it like that but i was thinking about making it into a playroom for the twins because their room you know it's two of them so it's really not like enough room anyway y'all so down here for the most part it's done it's just like little minimal stuff but the main part like i wipe down all the cabinets wipe down the counters the tables all of that because the baseboards i wipe down so it's just like minimal stuff now that I need to get done. So I'm about to eat. I'm gonna eat and then um, I told my son, my son helped me too. I was telling him down here direct to him because I told him to put the stuff in the dishwasher. And every time I tell him to put stuff in the dishwasher, it's always look a mess. Like, what did you do? Did you just throw it in here? So I said, oh, it's mighty funny that when I'm down here instructing you, or even now, I wasn't even instructing him. I just was down here with him. I said, it's mighty funny that when I'm down here with you, all of a sudden, you know how to put stuff in there neatly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anyway, y'all, I got y'all in the refrigerator right now. <laughs> so my dinner is going to be the pasta. Okay, refrigerator. My, my dinner is going to be the pasta y'all just saw me buy. And then their dinner is going to be probably this pizza that y'all just see me pull out the refrigerator they can eat some of that or they can eat whatever else they want to eat because i ain't cooking nah. Nah. Ain't that like just your main that's just how i feel nah. Ain't that like say the that you get with that's just how i feel nah. Nah.
Hey, down the mic, just make that lane switch. That's just how I feel. Nah. Hey, down the mic, turn to a million, then we all rich. That's just how I feel. The mask went off to get the stone. Okay, y'all, what I'm going to do now is forget the TV making noise on the back. She wasn't finding Nemo, but I'm going to go ahead and part her hair and put it in a little ponytail. This the parts in her hair. I know you really couldn't see it. I got the parts. And now I'm just about to give her... A bath. That one back. Let me see. Thank you. Is that enough? Let's add Mr. Froggy and Fishy. You guys. <laughs> Just know it was a situation in that tub. And then when I took her out the tub, it was a situation on the floor. And it wasn't a number one situation, it was a number two. And I am traumatized. And now I'm ready for them to go to bed. Hi, mommy, take a shower, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I need to get me 
a new bonnet or something because this one was so stretched out that I had to put a scrunchie on the back. But um, I had to get a new moisturizer because this one I've been using, which is the Aveeno Common Restore, which can y'all see it? I told y'all, I, I believe I told y'all about this one. I got it from Target, but it just have not been doing it for me, y'all. Like, okay, let me not say it hasn't been doing it for me. I do like it. It is moisturizing, but my skin is so dry that I need something way better than this. <laughs> like, the only thing is two things that has worked for me. The Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream works wonders, y'all. If you have not tried that, it works wonders for my skin, literally. Um, it leaves it so soft and moisturized and it just, to me, it even cleared up my skin. Like I didn't have any breakouts. My skin looked so good. So that and the Tatcha Dewy cream. So I, I had, I got that in like my, for my birthday, um, for my, and I'm about to moisturize with my grounded essentials with body butter, but the, I, what was I saying? Oh, I got Natasha. You know how like Sephora be giving you um, like something for your birthday? That's what they gave me for my birthday. So I had tried the sample and I really liked it. So I end up getting that. I end up getting that too. And they're both expensive, y'all. I think the Tatcha cream, the size I got was sixty nine dollars, but it won't be here until Tuesday. I I just had to like I just was like I just had to break and get it because it's about to be colder outside and. I can't afford for my skin to be any more drier. Like, y'all, especially right here, you can't see it in this lighting. But right here and, like, on my temples, for some reason, it just be so dry. And I don't like that. I really look like somebody mama. I mean, I am somebody mama, but I look like somebody mama. Hi, boo -boo. Mommy came to give y'all y'all cup. Y'all haven't seen Khalil today, huh? Khalil been being a big, big boy. Here, boo boo. There you go. This one is the wild one, as you can see. Good night. Can I get a kiss? Can mommy get a kiss? Good night. Good night, boo boo. Boo boo girl. Time to eat. A movie called The Good Nurse, and it's about this man that was a nurse and he was going to different hospitals kept getting fired from the hospitals because any patient that he would come in contact with would die because he was killing them but they didn't know how he was killing them and they didn't want to report it because they didn't want to get shut down or have all the legal stuff so yeah it's on netflix i'll let you all know how it is once i finish but for now we vibe out with food that movie was kind of it wasn't bad but it was too slow for me like it wasn't enough I can't even say action, but like, I don't know. You just watch for yourself. Because <laughs> it was just like too like, it wasn't like climatic at all. Like, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, it said that he, um, he confessed, whew, he confessed to 19 people. But they said that they he confessed to 19 people, but they expect for it to be close to 400 people that he killed as a nurse. He was a nurse for 16 years and he was able to keep doing it because like as they would suspect that he was killing folks, they couldn't prove it. So they would just fire him and he would just get hired at another hospital. So that's how he kept doing it. But he has 19 life sentences and he's not eligible for parole until 2403, I think it said. I don't even know why they entertain themselves in making sentences like that. Because who's living until 2403? Like, he's going to be dead. <laughs> so, I guess they're trying to make sure, like, listen, baby, I don't know. You know how people in the Bible used to live up to, like, 800, stuff like that. Do y'all think that people used to really live that long? Because it's so crazy. I feel like now we can't live that long because for one, like, look at all the stuff that's in our foods, in the air. Like, we are being killed daily. And I feel like back then, they didn't have all of that stuff. So, 
they could live but i just really i feel like food is really killing us like the stuff that they put in foods and the stuff we consume is really killing us but anyway that's a whole nother story that i'm about to go on but i am about to go to sleep it is already much later than oh no honey well i done made it too dark and yeah you guys that's the end of this video we had a productive day i still didn't complete everything that i wanted to complete but i'm still satisfied with what i did complete and tomorrow we will finish it well i keep yawning i hope y'all enjoyed this video do not forget to subscribe and join Le familia <laughs> all right i'll see y'all my next video bye